Casablanca. I'm only here for a short while. And I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to try to capture some images of the creature behind me, Hassan the Second Mosque, the second largest mosque in all of Africa. Quite impressive building. It's been said to me that all Moroccan citizens had to contribute to build this mosque, even if they were living abroad. As long as they had a Moroccan passport, they had to pay like 50 euros or something to contribute to this mosque, this building. There's a lot of people here, so I will figure out where I should go, where I should stand, where I should put my camera. I have, of course, my wide angle lens on and an ND filter, three stop ND filter. But the sunset is going to be in about one hour from now. And that is what I want to capture the mosque in the sunset. And look at all the waves. This could be an awesome shot if I get the exposure time right. Just wonderful. Now I've been here for a couple of hours. Well, I had a coffee also. I'm taking a few pictures. And tomorrow, I'm gonna go on a tour inside of this mosque. I'm excited for that. I don't know how many people there, there will be, but I will try to capture as many pictures as I can because this place is extraordinary. That's the word. Extraordinary. Good morning, I'm by the mosque again, Hassan II Mosque. Amazing building. And today I'm gonna go inside to see the interiors, which I've heard are amazing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film anything. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take pictures either because there's probably gonna be a lot of people. But I will try. I have prepared my setup. I don't think I can use a tripod, but I think I can use my platypod. And I also believe that the wide angle lens is the way to go. Now let's see how it looks inside. Well, it's not a small building. That's for sure. Wow, it's impressive. It could be quite stressful to take pictures when you're walking on a tour like this. And, and you can't walk in alone in this mosque. You have to go on a tour and you have to keep up with the group so you don't have time to adjust the camera, angles and settings the way you want to. But a trick is to be the last in the group. <laughs> and then they hopefully wait for you if you are taking pictures after the group have left to some place else. Anyway, thanks for watching.